I have so many boxes to get through. <sighs> Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. If this video randomly auto-played for you and uh, you don't know how you got here, welcome to a very obsessive channel all about Sailor Moon. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you don't like Sailor Moon, maybe you'll like my tech channel. That one can also be found on the YouTubes. But if you like Sailor Moon, please do subscribe. I do a whole bunch of educational videos about Sailor Moon merchandise. I do reviews. I also do news. And recently I did a little like documentary style video about the history of the Sailor Moon anime because it just turned 30. So that was a fun video to make. On to today's episode. So today I figured I would do a short and sweet, well, I always say they're going to be short and sweet, but they always end up being like 20 minutes long. This is going to be a unboxing of a bunch of products that I got from the Sailor Moon store in Japan. How did I get these items from the Sailor Moon store, you ask? Well, there's two ways that you can get these items in America. Actually, three ways. One is through a proxy. They go to the store or order online for you and then ship it to America or wherever you live. The second way is ordering from the Sailor Moon store online, which is brand new for the year 2022. The third way is if you are a Japan Sailor Moon fan club member and you have a Japanese address. If you do, then you can log on there and get access to a bunch of Sailor Moon store items. So all of these were purchased through one of those ways, mostly straight from the Sailor Moon store online. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all these items. I will show you each of the products and then down below if they are still available for purchase then I will definitely link you to them as well. So first I have a couple of items from the 2022 New Year's. This is an Emma board or an Ema board. These are very popular in Japanese culture and I love collecting them because the art is always so so cool. So here is the 2022 one. They usually come out with a new one every single year so I do try to collect them each year. I only have a few so far, but generally you can find these secondhand for a pretty inexpensive price. I also picked up a couple of new Otedamas. So these are Usagi and Mamoru in their New Year's Eve kimonos. I love that the fabric on these feels like kimono fabric. It's so, so cute. And they both just look so dang adorable. Look at her cute little bows in her hair. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I could add these to my collection of Otedamas, little samsungs. They look like little sushis, but that's okay. Oh, look, she's got a pink bum. Oh, a few other little small items that I got. Uh, sometimes you will find the Sailor Moon store stocking items from specific events and this is what's going on here. Both of these are from an event that happened called Small Worlds in Tokyo. These are a pair of masking tapes that were available at the event, but I also was able to find them through the Sailor Moon store. So I just picked up a couple of little masking tapes. These are really cute for like packaging things that I sell online. This pretty is an acrylic keychain featuring Luna. Now I love this because it's purple. Purple is my favorite color and I absolutely adore how they made this acrylic Luna signature right here. We also have this wonderful art of Luna and it says Sailor Moon Eternal on the back, which means that it was featured during the movie release. Even though they're not necessarily common nowadays because a lot of countries are no longer requiring them, I do still like having some face masks on hand either to wear for my own comfort or to wear during things like forest fires, which happen quite often here in America. So this is a really nice face mask that was available through the Sailor Moon store. It features Sailor Moon's transformation brooch, the original. The inside of it is this really nice mesh fabric, while the outside is more of a cotton fabric. There is no metal nose piece up at the top, so I would probably wear this with a medical grade mask underneath it if I really needed to. These are a little bit elastic, so it should be pretty comfortable around the ears. All in all, I think it's a very nice looking face mask. Let's see if it fits. Curious if these will fit. Oh, that fits perfectly. Wow. Might get a little tiring back here because there's a little bit of stretch going on, but it's a very comfortable face mask. I like that. Now I got makeup on it. Ugh, every time. Every time. Okay, so this item is kind of unique, especially if you're into conservation and stuff like that. So this is a reusable metal straw. And this straw says Super Sailor Moon up at the top. It is pink. I love the color. And it comes with this reusable bag that says my straw on the front of it. It also comes with a cleaning kit. So there's this 
little brush that you can use to clean the inside of it, which I think is very nice. I appreciate that they included that in this package. So you can just put your straw inside the bag and carry it with you in your purse. Now this looks like a teeny tiny water bottle. Let's find out. You might be wondering, why is she asking what that is? I oftentimes don't remember what I purchased because I will actually get the item in the mail months and months later. And that's what's happening here. Okay, so this is a very small, compact water bottle with a little loop. So you can put this on your purse or wherever you need to take it. It has a screw top so you can unscrew it. And it looks like it's, since it's made out of silicon, I mean, technically you could probably pack this away and squish it down really tight and stick it in your travel bag and then just let it expand whenever you're ready to use it. I'll definitely need to wash this before I use it, but I think this is a great size if you just want something small. On the front of this silicon water bottle, it does say Super Sailor Moon and it looks almost like a little perfume bottle. I think I'll do the acrylics first and then just like move my way over. So, these are acrylics from the Sailor Moon store. There's a whole pile of them because this is the full set. These are volume, I don't know what volume these are, but they have several volumes of acrylics that you can purchase and collect. I am curious, how do y'all display or store your Sailor Moon acrylics? Do you put them in photo albums and just flip through them and never set them up as little acrylic figures? Do you actually set them up? I, I'm curious how y'all display your acrylics, given that there's so many to collect and if you do even collect them. Okay, so. With this volume, we have all of the Sailor Guardians in their princess outfits from Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie. So first, of course, we have Neo Queen Serenity. She looks adorable. Then we have King Endymion, Princess Small Lady Serenity. She's so cute and tiny, I love that. Now this is really cool. We have Artemis, Luna, and Diana as acrylic figures. They are so cute. And I just love the art that's behind them, featuring the same art that's on the acrylic figure. So there's Luna, and then we have Diana. Here's Princess Mercury, Amy, Princess Mars, Jupiter. I love her dress. Princess Venus, looking cute. Neptune, Pluto, Uranus, and Saturn. So it's the full set. I love that I was able to order these online and I actually got the entire set. I was very surprised at that. I thought they would send me blind bags, like random acrylic figures, but the Sailor Moon store sent me the full entire set. Now, one thing I wanted to mention on that, a little life hack. If you are ordering from the Sailor Moon store and you have a Japanese address allowing you to do so. When I ordered these, I knew that the first volume of these had like six options or six or eight. So I ordered that specific amount. I ordered eight, just assuming that I would get a couple of duplicates and I could trade them with somebody else and eventually get the full set. The other volume, same thing. I knew that there were eight different characters that you could collect, so I ordered eight, just assuming that I would get some duplicates and again, I could trade with somebody. But in this case, I'm assuming that whoever packs the bag for the Sailor Moon store online saw that I ordered six and I ordered eight and they actually gave me a full set because they assumed that I wanted the full set, given that I ordered that specific amount. I think that's pretty cool. That means I don't have to spend a whole bunch of extra money or time like trying to chase down the rest of this full set. And I, I just came home with the entire thing. So I was very, very happy about that. Now that's not the same thing that happens if you purchase these from the retail store because those are often blind bagged and you just have to randomly select them. That's what happened with these volumes. So I got these volumes from, I think my proxy, No Country for Tall Men, as well as the online store. And they were random selections. So I don't have the full set of these, but I'm hoping that I will eventually. So here we have Makoto. This is like the summer outfit volume. So we have Makoto here. Then I have Chibiusa, Amy, Mamoru. I also happen to get Minako. Oh, I might actually have this full set. Here's Usagi and then Ray, and I love her outfit. This second set is volume three. These are the school uniform versions. So here's Sailor Moon Eternal Usagi in her school uniform. Then I have Amy, Ray, Makoto, and Minako. That's volume four, these five. And these ones of them in their summer outfits 
is volume three, which is seven different characters to collect. So moving on from there, let's go ahead and check out the jewelry and accessories that I got, which I think are all watches, but I could be wrong. So starting with this first one, which is the Sailor Moon Store fourth anniversary box. What's in here? I don't know. Let's find out. It's a watch. <laughs> they always come out with a new watch every year whenever they're doing the anniversary edition items and you can pre-order them. I believe that I pre-ordered one through my proxy, but I also saw them selling it online. So I ended up getting one online too. This is a very pretty watch. Um, I will have to put new batteries in here. The batteries are dead right now, but there's a whole bunch of little crystals on the inside of there. If you can see them shaking around and moving, that's pretty cool. Behind there, we have the Crisis Moon brooch, and we also have some crystals along the edges, which signify the Inner Sailor Guardian colors. On the back, it says Sailor Moon Store, and it also has a special number since this is limited edition. So mine is number 43. I think it says 43. Wow, that's pretty low. I also just realized that this section, which is in the shape of a crescent moon, is transparent on the back and it's also transparent on the front. That's cool. What a neat little design. I think this is one of my favorite anniversary items that they've come out with. It's very pretty. So that is the fourth anniversary watch. I also have the third anniversary item over here. So here is the box for the third anniversary item. I honestly like this box a lot more. It's very unique and very different. It's very pretty. This is also the kind of box design that you got with, I think the first and second edition Sailor Moon store items. So this is also a watch. I kind of debated about this one. It looked kind of cheap compared to the other items that they've come out with, but I still, I, I didn't want to break the collection since I had already received the first anniversary, second and fourth. So this is the third anniversary item. This one features a watch as well, but this one has a stretchy band as opposed to one that latches. This one features the Cosmic Heart Compact on the watch face itself. It's much smaller than the fourth anniversary item. And we also have a bunch of cloudy beads. They're supposed to be cloudy. That's the way that they were made, but there's cloudy beads all along this stretchy band. Now the back of this one also has a number. Mine is number 308. So a little bit higher than the fourth anniversary edition. You can tell that I waited on this one. <laughs> all right, and last but not least for the accessories is another watch from Wicca. So Wicca is a company that I've purchased many watches from. I really like their quality. I think they're very, very high quality, very nice designs, very pretty. And they have done a few collaborations with Sailor Moon so far. I do have all of them so far, and this is just the newest one in their line of products. So this one features a really beautiful box. I love this box, check it out. So this one has Pegasus on it, along with a bunch of Sailor Moon's wands, along with Chibi Moon actually. There's a bunch of different icons on there. At the bottom it says Wicca and it is made out of a cloth material. It's a beautiful box. I think that's a Swarovski crystal on the front, but I'm not sure. Let's unbox it. Ta-da! Ooh, pretty. I will need to put new batteries in this one. Oh, that's nice. There's a logo on the interior of the lid. It says Sailor Moon Eternal, which is the movie logo. In the box itself, you have a little advert, which includes a picture of Helios and Chibi Moon on the front of it. And then here's the watch itself. So this one is rose gold. It features a very nice band. I like these kind of bands. They're really, really comfortable to use. It's definitely long enough for my wrist, which is great. Now this one has a teeny tiny little crescent moon up at the top, along with a little crystal next to it. And in the background, there's a teeny tiny Helios, a little Pegasus, along with a whole bunch of feathers. This is a really, really pretty design and it doesn't scream Sailor Moon in any regard. I think it's cute. I would definitely wear this and I will wear this. So moving on, I have a bunch of acrylics. Should I open them all? I guess I should. Okay, let's go ahead and open them all. Okay, I finally unbagged all of these acrylics in front of me and this is way too many. <laughs> this is a lot of acrylics. I should not have bought the entire volume of these because they're so many and they're so tiny. What am I gonna do with all these? 
I don't even know. Does anybody want acrylics? Cause this is too many. I'll just keep like my favorite characters and then get rid of the rest or something. I don't know. Anyway, so these are two different collections of acrylic figures. I'll go ahead and start with the teeny tiny ones and then work my way over to the bigger ones. These all feature different Sailor Senshi, Sailor Guardians in adorable little snow outfits. So here's Venus and Jupiter, Chibi Moon with her Luna P. I love that Saturn and Pluto both have staffs that are actually candy canes. Rei and Michiru, Mars and Neptune. Here's Haruka and Amy. Here's Mamoru. I actually love his outfit. And then we have two of Sailor Moon. Here's one of her holding a cute little present. And we have this other one of Usagi, Sailor Moon, and she's holding a chicken. She's holding a chicken leg. I don't know why, but she's holding chicken. Although I, I kind of get it given KFC is huge in, during Christmas time in Japan. So maybe there's a thing there. She's holding a drumstick. Okay, so those are the Christmas acrylic figures, which can be used as charms. You can put them on your umbrella, for example, or you can put them on your keychain or wherever you want. I think they're very cute, but again, probably too many acrylic figures for me. I'm, I'm getting acrylic out over here. So yeah, I'll probably get rid of like half of these. <laughs> so moving on, I'll show you the last item in this haul for today, which is the rest of my acrylic figures. <laughs> okay, so all of these acrylic figures also come with a little heart that can be used as a stand. So it has a little hole in the center. That's where this little notch underneath their feet will go into so that you can display them. So I'm not gonna pick up every single heart and show you because they're pretty self-explanatory, but here is Sailor Mercury. There's Sailor Jupiter. Here's Sailor Chibi Moon, Sailor Mars. Here's Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. So if you played Sailor Moon Drops, these designs probably look really familiar to you. Here's Sailor Pluto. And then we also have, here's Sailor Saturn and we have Sailor Venus. We also have Helios. Since these are Sailor Moon Eternal acrylic figures from the movies that released last year, we do have all of the characters from the movies. So here's Helios. I don't think we had a tuxedo mask in this series. Well, here's Sailor Moon. She looks really cute. These are super adorable. Okay, we have a Chibi Nehelenia. I love the Chibi Nehelenia. I'm keeping her. She's so cute. And then we also have the Amazon Trio. So here's Tiger's Eye, Fish Eye, and Hawk's Eye. And then of course we have Zirconia. Okay, so now I have a mountain of acrylic figures. Again, I would love to know how you display yours or how you store them. Give me some ideas, cause I'm, uh, I need some ideas on how I'm supposed to take care of all these acrylic figures. That wraps up my Japan Sailor Moon store haul for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these items, don't forget to leave your comments down below. I always answer questions whenever I see them. And don't forget to subscribe if you're as obsessed with Sailor Moon as I am. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, Johnny.